you have stuffed animals in Africa? No, we don't have stuffed animals in Africa. What we kind of question is that? Animals oh, over no. here. No. <laughs> she got stuffed animals in the back. As toys, <laughs> for example. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Rail, and he back in it again, reacting to African TikTok. Everything that Africa does not have, super shady. So let's get into it because I know sometimes us Americans we can say some crazy things and sound a little ignorant. So let's get into it. What is Don't that? To like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, do. Africans don't drive cars. We actually have two methods of transportation. For those of us who are poor, we swing from tree to tree like Judge of the Jungle to get to our location. And then for the rich ones, they actually Not ride their wild animals. Hand. For example, the rich people in North Africa ride their camels. Mm -hmm. Those in South Africa ride their lions and cheetahs. And then those in okay. East Africa ride on their elephants. On and the for elephants. those of us in West Africa, that's the rich ones in West Africa, they jump on the back of their baboons to get to their location. So no, we don't have cars in Africa. Know, we just depend sister. on the wildlife for transportation. Yeah. <laughs> Her sarcasm is amazing. <laughs> now that's how we you actually don't somebody. have internet in Africa, so I'm going to tell you a secret on how we get internet to be able to do our TikToks. So every end of the week, uh, our community chief priest comes to every family in the community mm -hmm. and then does some incantations, stab the stuff three times, blow on something, and then all of a sudden Ooh. the internet pops up on your phone. Ooh. Ooh. I told you guys. She came around looking like the bridge. In Africa, guys, I told you, I told you. <laughs> I am weakened. Weakened. Do you guys have ice cream in Africa? No, they didn't. No, we don't have no, ice cream in Africa. But anytime we need something refreshing and creamy to drink, Come on, we just it go up. straight to the cow ranch and pick a milking cow, then squeeze out milk directly from its <laughs> teeth into our mouth and drink it. And that's how we survive without ice cream <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> she eats the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Dang, we can be so ignorant over here. Do you have stuffed animals in Africa? No, we don't have stuffed animals in Africa. What we kind of question is that? Animals over here. Parents get their <laughs> children got animals, animals in the back. To play as toys. <laughs> For example, the poor families get their children baby goats or baby sheep to play with, and then the rich families get their children <laughs> baby rhinos or baby elephants. Okay. And eventually, these animals grow up to become their pets. I didn't know that. For those sister. of us adults who just want to have a feel of comfort and warmth from an mm. animal, we go straight to the lion's den and hug the female Ooh, lion. Yes. And that's how we survive without stuffed animals in Africa. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. She is hilarious. Do you guys have technology in Africa? No, we actually don't have technology in Africa. We really Who don't know that what question? that is. But anytime we have difficulty <laughs> in doing stuff physically or our intelligence fails us, uh -huh. we just do a chant and summon the spirit of the Black Panther. Oh, and then yeah, that spirit boy, is going yeah, to possess boy, us yeah, yeah, yeah. and manifest through us. <laughs> and then we are able to do stuff physically fast, like super fast, <laughs> faster than an average human being. No. And then we now exhibit high IQ, like super high IQ. Super. And this saves us a lot of manpower. Mm. And that's how we survive without technology in Africa. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> for that one that word was that was one of the best do you ones. have air conditioners in africa no we don't have air conditioners in africa but whenever the weather gets really hot and we begin to sweat profusely <laughs> it's the, the fair community behind her for me. Has all the elephants in the community <laughs> at the village square okay and then gives them a treat and get them to flap their ears mm. once they begin to flap, flap their flap. ears a cool breeze is circulated throughout the community the faster they flap their ears the cooler the breeze so and that's, that's how, how we survive air. without air conditioning yes. in africa in africa yeah yeah <laughs> oh i want to meet this woman africa does not have electricity what we do is every end of the week mm -hmm. the oldest witch in our community goes to the top of the highest mountain in wakanda <laughs> and then summons wakanda. the god of thunder madioha when he strikes with thunder and lightning she then captures the lightning in bottles and distributes it to families across the community <laughs> So in that's bottles. how we survive without electricity in Africa. We put we depend lightning in bottles. on lightning. Okay, got it. From the God of Thunder. Noted from the God of Thunder. Well, I only serve one God, and that's the living God. Hallelujah! 
Africans can't speak English. In fact, we don't know any words in English language. Whenever the need arises for us to speak in English, we just close our eyes and summon the spirit of our ancestors who were alive oh, wow. during the colonial era. And then their spirit is going to possess us. Mm. So we just open our mouth and speak our language and it automatically translates into English language. Please stop So it. no, Africans <laughs> can't it. speak English. So how do you say yeah it hurts. in English? It hurts. You know, never mind. <laughs> she said, how do you say yeah in English? She is a comedian, yo. Do you all live in thatched huts? So we all know Africa is a very big jungle filled with poor people. So not all of us can actually afford to live in thatched huts. The only people that can afford to live in huts in Africa no, are rich people. For those of us who are poor, we just sustain ourselves in the jungle and live wherever we find ourselves. Mm. Sometimes we sleep under banana or plantain trees. Sometimes we sleep on top of <laughs> palm trees or iroko trees. The bigger the tree, the bigger the family size. And then hey, sometimes we also sleep in the lion's the den beside the lions, the depending on wherever we find ourselves. And then um, those in Northern Africa are lucky because those ones run to the pyramid of Egypt okay. to sleep every time it's night time. Mm -hmm. So aside from those in Northern Africa, the rest of us actually just live in the jungle Got and it. sleep wherever we find ourselves. So yeah. Noted. Noted. Got it, my sister. Got it. Like you all know there's no water in Africa. We don't have water. So there is something we do. Oh, it's a big secret, but I'm going to let you the ignorance. on how we survive without water. First of all, there's this festival we call the Kalago Festival. It happens every ending of the month across Africa. It's called the same across Africa. We speak the same language, of course, we're, we're a country. So, of course, um, it's the same name. So, yeah, in that festival, oh, all the men gather the women together in the community. And there are like 10 to 20 drums placed at the center of the village square. And then the men play, you know, when I say drums, I mean like open-ended drums where you can pour in stuff. And then the men now, you know, play music while the women take turns. Women and girls mm -hmm. take turns to spit wow. into these drums. Oh. These very huge, large drums. Okay. And then they'll keep spitting until the drum is full. Why they spit the chant? They chant our sacred chant. Mm. And then when the drum is full, they put like two pieces of alum. I don't know why they do that, but they do. They put like two pieces of alum in it. And then it settles for two days. And we just go take turns and fetch. You have like your bottles to fetch. I use this bottle to fetch like some and stock my fridge. So that's what I've wow. been drinking until the month end okay. uh, ends and I'll go again. So um, that's basically how we survive mm. without water. So that's basically what we drink. We drink our, <laughs> our community spits. <laughs> like spits from our community women. I even spit too sometimes, but it's not all the time I join them. But yeah, sometimes when I, I feel like you know, I have a lot of phlegm, mm. I go and spit in and add my own notes just to help the community and to help save our lives since we don't have any source of water. So this is even what, the spit. Water? So this is my own share. I have some more in the fridge. <laughs> so yeah, when you come to Africa, she just she ask them to take the you fridge. to the Kalago drums so you can fetch your own. Cheers. So you can fetch your own. Clap back. I love it. Is that so like, problem? why doesn't it ever rain in Africa? Rain does not fall in Africa because our sky is pink. So anytime we need water, we just gather together at the community square and cry in the bowl. We cry our eyes out as hard as we can and then the bowl is going to be filled with our tears and that's what we use as water. So yeah, it doesn't rain in Africa because we have a pink sky. Yeah. <laughs> what was she up under? Do you have shoes in Africa? She's in. No, we don't have shoes in Africa, but anytime we want to wear something to protect our feet, we go straight to the forest and cut off a large piece of bark from a tree, okay. slightly larger than this one. Mm, that and then painful. we poke two holes on both ends of the bark okay. and then cut off the string from the center of a banana leaf and attach them on these holes to use banana them as ropes. Leaf. And then we now place the bark under the sole of our feet and tie the ropes across our legs and that's how we survive without shoes in no Africa. they play too much yes ma'am yeah those shoes behind it, it it was giving everything how do you charge your phone <gasps> so you already know there is no electricity in africa we depend on <laughs> why do they keep thinking there's no electricity it's quite difficult to use lightning to charge our phones 
So what we do is every time we have to charge our phones, we go to the community river filled with hippos <laughs> and then we pick <laughs> a hippo <laughs> and insert this end of the cable into the hippo's butt yeah. and put this other part of the cable into your phone. Wow. Then in less than one minute, your phone will be fully charged. Oh, I need that river. so fast because the community hippo's butt emits so much high voltage that it charges oh, the phone super hippos. fast. That okay. is exactly what I did this morning and I got my phone fully charged. Oh. And so that's how we charge our phones in Africa. Ah, I need that. I need that. Yeah. 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 She, play, she plays for days. Africa is not a continent. Africa is a country. <laughs> we have 54 towns and villages and our capital city yeah, is Yeah, this used to confuse me. So, maybe. yeah, we are so close to each other. That's why we understand each other and we speak the same language. In fact, <laughs> going from Nigeria to Ghana mm -hmm. is a 10-minute walk. And then going from, like, Kenya to South Africa is, like, a one-hour drive. So, yeah, Africa is not a continent. It's a beautiful country. Ooh, Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Yeah, I used to be confused. I thought I used to say country. How the hell is there a country inside a country? Because y'all have Africa, and then y'all have South Africa. They, they don't even make sense. That's because you don't understand the structure, sweetie. Now, South Africa is a village in Africa. <laughs> yeah, Africa is a country, right? With 54 villages and the <laughs> capital city of Kanda. But then South Africa is the head village okay. because it's the only village in Africa mm. that has Africa in its name <laughs> so that's the structure africa, okay the south country, africa. 54 villages and wakanda then south africa is made the oh, head, the head the village. village of africa mm, yeah got it i thought that i thought that my whole life does north africa count as africa no sweetie North Africa does not count as Africa because it's in Europe. <laughs> yeah. North Africa is a country Please. in Europe right Please. next to And then she pops the picture up. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that to her or to him, whoever it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was this it? That was freaking hilarious. You guys, um... You know what? I apologize on behalf of America because some of us, some of us just ignorant and it's not right. Now, you guys with the one with the continent, that one used to trip me up. I used to always say country. Thank you for watching. She is hilarious. I, I apologize once again because some of us Americans can be very, can be very ignorant. Which so, so Here in America, some of these people, they just say every, anything they want to say. They wasn't raised right. Put in the comments, they wasn't raised right. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.